Okay, so let's continue. So, yun na, no? So, all in all, ito na yung mga formulas na kailangan natin i-memorize dito sa plane analytic geometry. So, yung mga standard form na to. Then, we have also the slope of the line, which is equivalent to tangent theta. And, we have also parallel and perpendicular lines. No? So, yung equation ng parallel lines is dito lang sila nag-differ. Yun na yung kaibahan ng mga parallel lines na yan. Okay? Pero yung slope nila, same. And for the perpendicular lines, so negative reciprocal lang ng isang slope. Na? And then, take note uh, of inverse yung sign nila. So, I hope klara yan. Na? So, parang nagkabaliktan lang yan dito. And we have also the point of intersection between two lines. Na? So, kung gusto natin makuha yung point na to, ano yan? So, mo lang yung, kasi yung, yung line, di ba, naka in terms of x and y n. So, solve mo lang yung two equation to anons. Makukuha mo yung point of intersection nila. If you also want to solve for the eh, theta, so ito naman, no? So, slope lang nung one, uh, nung line one, line two, minus line one, all over one plus m1, m2. So, tandaan mo lang yung formula na yan. And then, we have also the formula for the area of triangle. So, we have the determinant metan. So, one half lang nung matrix na x sub 1, y sub 1, and 1. So, ganun. And we have also the coordinate. Metan. So, ganito naman yung arrangement niya. Ganito yung spa ganyan. Okay, so yan, yung pag-compute nung triangle. Okay, so meron din tayong distance from a line to a point. So, kung gusto mo makuha yung distance na to from a point, so yung equation ng line na yan, which is ito yun, substitute mo lang yung x dito sa x niya, at saka yung y dito sa y niya. And yun na yan. And if you, want, if you want to solve for the distance between two lines, so ito naman yung formula na. Kasi parallel line yan, so ibig sabihin dito lang sila magbabago. Kaya ito lang din yung makikita mo sa formula. Okay, so let's solve yung problem na ta. Prison break problem. So, a prisoner in a concentration camp not far away from two intersecting roads which are orthogonal to each other is planning to escape by digging a tunnel towards a big drainage pipe which discharge into the Sobic Bay if the pipeline has X and Y intercept of negative 3 and negative 4 respectively and the camp has coordinate of 1 and 3 so with respect to the intersecting roads so, determine the length of the shortest tunnel that the prisoner could dig. You know? Parang prison break na movie. Hmm. Okay, so i-draw natin yung figure para masolve natin yung problem. So, gawa muna ako ng x and y axis. And. And then, kung titignan natin dito, uh, drainage pipe, which big drainage pipe in the pipeline so ito yung sinasabi niya yung drainage pipe na yan as x and, and x and y intercept of negative 3 and negative 4 so i assume ito yan ito yung negative 3 and then i assume ito yung negative 4 so connect mo lang natin Mm 
Ayan, no? So, yun yung magiging pipeline natin. Okay? So, change ko lang yung kulay niya. So, yun yung pipeline. And the compass coordinate of 1 and 3. So 1 and then 1, 2, 3. So and dito daw yung comp at 1 and 3. Okay. With respect to the intersecting roads. Oh, okay. Roads pala to. So it is roads. And also this line, this is also roads. So determine the length of the shortest tunnel that the prisoner could dig. So sinabi niya, in a concentration camp, so ando ito yung mga prisoner, uh, ando yung mga prisoner sa camp. Uh, not far away from two intersecting roads which are orthogonal to each other. So is planning to escape by digging a tunnel towards the pipe so para makuha natin yung shortest distance di ba? as a rule, kung gusto mong makuha yung shortest distance yeah, sa mechanics kailangan perpendicular yung line di ba? sa mechanics ganito din ha? kung gusto mong makuha yung minimum force kailangan yung force 90 degrees so parang ganun lang din dito so, ito yung gusto natin kunin. Ano yung distance dyan? Which, uh, towards a big drainage pipe which discharges into a sobic bay. So, okay. So, assume ko na lang na ito yung bay. So, dito na yung bay. Hmm. And then, assume ko lang ito yung pipe. So, ganda yung figure. So, ibig sabihin, uh, since naka-intercept yung dito na point, so, gagamit tayo ng intercept form, no? Uh, X over A plus Y over B equals 1. So, we have X over uh, negative 3, yung so intercept, and then yung B dito is negative 4. So, plus Y over negative 4 equals 1. Okay, so therefore, meron tayong So, multiply na lang natin ito ng Ano ng 12, na? So, bali mangyayari, meron tayong negative uh, 4x negative 3y and then we have 12 ah uh, times ko na lang ng negative para maging positive to lahat so this time is magiging negative to ok so meron tayong 4x plus 3y plus 12 equal 0. So, yun yung equation nung, nung pipeline. Okay. So, masold na natin yung distance. So, masold na natin yung distance gamit yung formula. 
na di ba? Kukunin mo lang yung yung line eh, 4x plus 3y plus 12. Then divide na lang natin nung e squared plus b squared, no? So yung a dito is 4. And then yung b natin is 3. Okay, so substitute na natin yung value for x and y. So therefore we have 4. Yung x natin is 1. And then, yung y natin dito is 3. So, plus 3 times 3 plus 12 all over square root of a squared plus ay, wait. <laughs> dito na pala eh. Square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. So, masolve na natin yung distance. So, I hope klaro yan. So, meron tayong 4 times 1 plus 3 times 3 plus 12 all over square root of 4 square plus 3 square 5 5 kilometer so distance is 5 ano pala syang unit na so 5 units na lang na 5 units so malamang kilometer yan so anyway ito na yung sabot so see so continue na lang tayo sa next na video thank you